Philip Schofield admitted television used to be more fun, free and open in the 90s as he reminisced with his old Going Live co-star Sarah Green. The presenting duo were also joined on the sounds of the 90s with Fern Cotton by Liv and Kicking's presenters Andy Peters, 50, and Emma Forbes, 56. The latest episode saw some of the biggest names in Saturday morning television come together to discuss how the world of TV has changed and some of their fondest memories from the time. This morning presenter Philip, 59, touched upon the differences between television back in the 90s compared to today. He said, Sarah and I, and you Fern actually, were at the tail end when tally was an enormous amount of fun and now of course there are regulations, but in those days it was just a lot more fun and free and open and a laugh. Philip revealed that he still works in the same building for this morning as the program which kick-started his morning television career. I also love the fact that we were in TC7 which is amazing because this morning is in the same building, a building I love so much, he said. Next door was the big entertainment studio, TC6 and sometimes French and Saunders would be in there rehearsing and get bored in their rehearsals, they would be dressed in whatever outfits they had on from the sketch and they would just walk in and mess about with us in the studio. According to Philip, the show was so relaxed on the door that people who were in the building at the time of recording would think it was fine to walk in. Sarah, 63, and Philip explained they had some of the biggest names on the show including Sting, who admitted he only went on because his children were fans of the program. Sarah said, by the time we got to 1993 a lot of the guests had been on two or three times before or their kids watched the show, I mean you know Paul McCartney's kids watched the show, Sting's kids. Sting only came on the show because he said my kids think it's a cool show so I have to do it, and those kinds of things. Getting caught up reminiscing, the presenting duo also spoke about a comical incident with singer Barry Manilow. Sarah explained, the strangest one and the most wonderful one was I was really scared I was going to go and say hello to Barry Manilow and I asked him if he would mind joining in a little gag that I was going to play on one of the camera operators who was a great pianist and a huge Barry fan. Barry invited him to come and sit at the piano and play alongside him and Barry was so generous in this because Nigel Saunderson, camera operator, and Barry in profile are identical and thank God Barry saw that in the camera angle the other guys had all set up around, because they knew it was happening and it was just when that all came together, when those things come together, and you can't plan that, you have to let it happen. But do you remember what he said? Philip replied. Barry said, he put their heads back to back and said look at this, it's a pickaxe. Emma Forbes and Andy Peters also shared some of their well-known guests on their popular morning show, including Cher, Sir Richard Branson and Sir Trevor MacDonald. Andy said, we went through a lot of guests. On my last day. Sir Trevor MacDonald was on, Cher, Sir Richard Branson who was a regular, Don French. There has never been television like it, I don't think there ever will be and the audience numbers were huge, we used to get on occasion 70% share of people watching television were watching live and kicking. One particular element the pair said they loved about the show was having a laugh and bringing entertainment to adults and children. Emma said, live and kicking very cleverly used to make it that there was innuendo from Trevor, Neil, and Simon, Hickson, so that the mums and dads would be killing themselves laughing and it went straight over the kids' heads and guests would come on and they would be outrageous but I don't remember having to take any bands off air. Oh there was one band. New kids on the block they came in, Fern, a little, what's the word? Fern replied, intoxicated? 
The Sounds of the 90s with Fern Cotton is available to listen on BBC Sounds.